So in last lecture, we continued the topic of fine tuning a pre-trained model and we saw how to do the training using Hugging Faces training API. Now we will see how to do fine tuning without that API so that when whenever needed, we can you know run our own loop. The code is not very complex like all other things in deep learning. The code is small number of lines. But the concepts, they are quite essential. And once you master those few, you will be able to do any NLP problem or even a computer vision problem. So master the fundamentals, understand where it is, all of it is in code thoroughly. Okay. So setting up your own DIY training loop. In last lecture, we saw with trainer API and the trainer API did it like this. We specify training arguments in which by default we must give output directory in which the trained model will be saved and some other options. And then we simply specify trainer with the argument. So what is the model? What are the training data set? What are the evaluation data set? What is the tokenizer and blah, blah, blah. And when we say model trainer dot train, this thing trains. You train with this, so you do this and uh, training starts with follow. Okay, so in DIY, the same thing, but you will see how simple the training loop actually is. Everything remains the same. I have installed them. I have imported the package for easy readability. I download the data set. We know Glue is the standard data set, one of the most important in NLP. We can either do sentiment mm, classification or whether two sentences are similar or not, or some natural language uh, predictions, whether it's logically related or not. So three things. Now we are simply doing whether two sentences are similar or not. We have chosen a smaller data set here. You, know, you can choose bigger one, but the training time would have been more. So we are simply learning concepts. So let's just get end to end thing going. Data set, checkpoint, tokenizer, tokenizer function. All of these things are standard, extremely standard. You will find they are one and the same thing. Then you do train data loader and then you download the model, pre-trained model. Here I mentioned in the last lecture, you should know what part of the message is important. Here, this is the part which is important. Some weights are not initialized. These are the ones which are newly initialized. Classifier.bias, classifier.weight. In last lecture, we saw how to take a look at the model in a bit more detail. So that goes here. So let me just see what are the methods. So if we just print the model, we see it is made up of multiple things. It's visually overloading. So in last lecture, I had said it is actually made up of just three main parts. BERT, which is another sub model inside this. It is an embedding part, combination of multiple things. So model.BERT, then dropout and then classifier. This error message says classifier is what is newly initialized. It means rest are not newly initialized. They are reused. That's why we do fine training, right? So where are they reused? We are re reusing model.birds part. And that again has three things, embedding, encoder, and pooler. And after this, this goes to dropout, and then that finally it goes to classifier. So this is what we did until now. This is what is important message we need to know. And then we start, you know, get, we have the data loader, get batches one by one, calculate the error for each batch, and then try to reduce error using brute force scientific computing. We try to reduce error of all parameters for all batches, tiny bit. As long as we are doing tiny bits of corrections, eventually we reach a stage where all parameter values are such a that the error, what is error, which is difference between what is actually predicted and what is actually present. So when error becomes zero, in another words, accuracy is 100%. So we have reached the parameters where all of that happens. How to do it manually? This is what the 
training loop is all about so we start with the model okay and inside it let's let's look at from this i am simply doing this single batch in train a data loader so i am going through the examples one by one this is very important okay this this line is very important why because sending data to the device gpu makes it run very very fast cpu makes it run very 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 slow instead of very fast let me just say just one very fast here if we don't send it to a fast accelerated device like i told you we are updating millions of parameters we have initialized however many tiny bit a small tiny bit so that the error uh, reduces and to do that for all batches for all this thing it requires a lot of compute that's why we do it in a brute force way on gpu so we get a batch send it on device pass it through model and get the output this is the output predicted value whatever is the error is saved in dot loss variable that's how hugging face has decided its api okay so this is the error value so when i do error value dot backward what it actually does is it finds out the relationship between error value with respect to all the parameters of the model what are the parameters of the model we can say model dot parameters uh, okay i can say model dot state dict maybe this will give me all the parameters we have in the model and they are actually quite huge so if you you know uh, it's if if i want to count model dot uh, something like this so count total parameters of model there is a function uh, in pytorch which does it very simply uh numel p dot numel okay there is no one function it doesn't matter so however model parameters we have oh we have function code here from torch info so let's copy that part and we can see how many models do we have how many parameters we have so we have Three six hundred and nine million parameters, out of which the parameters we care about are only classifier, and they are only one thousand. Everything else is a fine, uh, already trained uh, thing. So whenever we are gonna fine tune, we are going to fine tune just the final part of the classifier. That's it. That's all we are gonna do. And how do we gonna do that? error value we calculate error values relationship with parameter and each parameter we change so that error reduces by a bit we calculate relationship between these two parameters and tweak parameter so that we get minimum error and how do we do that this python code so for there is something called as parameters pytorch has this uh, uh, function called as parameters this will give you model dot parameters all the parameters and i go through them one by one so what i do is i have calculated relationship of error value with parameter each such parameter in this case i need to set a rest of these models to be untrainable because i don't need to change them i think so but uh, hugging face has not done that uh, so i don't know i, I need to check it but ideally we should just be training this final part that is what fine tuning is all about so i set up all the uh, parameters and only these relevant parameters to change i go through them one by one each one i update so that parameter is reduced by its gradient direction so the the way this is as long as we are doing extremely tiny change in the parameter value the output is also going to change only in a tiny way 
So safe and sure steps. If you are running downhill, you can't take any risky step and fall down and completely die. If I take a large step in parameter value, we don't know what's the consequence of the final error value is going to be, how much it's going to change because there are so many parameters. But what if I make the change so small that I will, you know, just get tiny bit direction where the error will reduce and I do that for every parameter. And this is what for every parameter in this, I am seeing each parameter is getting updated. So this is what happens internally. This is relevant from the PyTorch side of a model training. So uh, hugging face course with some basics of uh, deep learning uh, course, as long as you combine both of these knowledge, you can understand this quite well. Okay. So we go through all the parameters. And if you don't want to do this like this, you can write optimizer dot step. Optimizer optimizes a optimizer of error with respect to parameters. This is what this optimizer is. If I would have, you know, said it like this here, how do I know? This is what the parameters uh uh, it is going to actually evaluate it against, okay? And what is it going to uh, uh, reduce? It is going to minimize the error value. So this is how it is defined and this is how the code looks like. Name them in such a way that you can easily understand. Write more comments. I have not written many comments here, but you should. Uh, write more comments so that it is... Uh, a revision each and every time you check the code and then when you execute it in one shot you will uh, get the model training so i've executed this because i'm right now running it on gpu this thing is running in just less than three minutes here before it, it took a lot of time to get a free gpu uh, on cpu it was taking like 30 40 minutes this to emphasize this point CPU is very slow for deep learning because we are doing each parameter updating one by one. And D error and D parameter is also calculated for each parameter. Same thing here. For each parameter is what we are doing. That's why GPU is so essential. That's why this training takes so much time. If I'm running it on images, imagine how big images are. How much time that, that will take. And if you have billions and trillions parameter, we need to do those many updates in each and every step. Okay. So this is what deep learning is. And when we reach a good enough uh, value, then we can uh, directly say evaluation. This evaluation, again, do the same thing, get the batch, uh, use the libraries Hugging Face has given us to do the accuracy. And just this simple thing, just this extremely simple thing, what has happened is I have uh, passed through the entire data set only once because I didn't do the epoch thing. There is only one for loop running. So even in that, I have reached 86% accuracy. I went through the entire data only once and updated uh, parameter values to reduce the error. And just in that, I got 86% accuracy. So here, if you check in the code, there is a lot of sending to the device and coming, uh, ensuring that even model is there and acceleration happens. If I don't set device correctly, there is a lot of error. If I don't set drivers correctly, there is a lot of error. So to reduce all of that headache, this accelerate library has been developed by Hugging Face. It removes all the hassle of uh, the device management. You simply initialize this accelerator in one line. And using that accelerator, you configure your training data loaders, things which load your data set. You also configure your model, thing which contains the parameter. You also prepare the optimizer, which changes the parameters according to the gradient value so all the relevant things you know just these two lines that's it so everything remains the same except instead of error dot backward the step which calculates you know this is the most important step this 
ऑप्स दिस इज मोस्ट आई एम पी स्टेज ऑफ डी एल दिस इज वेर वी कैलकुलेट रिलेशनशिप विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एर एंड दिस नीड्स टू बी कैलकुलेटेड फॉर ईच एंड एवरी पैरामीटर राइट एंड दिस इज वॉट इट डज वी जस्ट नीड टू से एक्सलेटेड और बैकवर्ड ऑफ एरर वैल्यू इंस्टेड ऑफ वॉट एवर दैट वेरिएबल हियर वॉज एरर वैल्यू डॉट बैकवर्ड सो जस्ट अ टाइनी बिट चेंज एवरी थिंग रिमेन्स द सेम एंड नाउ दिस एंटायर कोड if if we do it in terms of uh, uh using accelerate library this does not need manual device specification so currently this is running only on a single gpu if i had millions of gpus or 10 gpus this i wouldn't need to say manually which device to send to what to uh, what not to send to if it is you not a cuda or something else none of that uh, is required this accelerate takes care of accelerating it for us we only focus on the essential things so compare this notebook with the notebook of the previous lecture e links you will find in the video description compare it and then you would have completed how to do the fine tuning of a pre trained model you can either use a trainer api or you can use a custom train you get a data set you pre process you train let's say you find uh, another data set so you have a new model which you have pre trained you fine tune it on that another data set which you have compiled and you get better accuracy so you keep tweaking the model until you get the highest accuracy possible and this is how you fine tune a model for highest possible accuracy of the problem statement you have chosen don't be limited by the accuracy of these ready made models fine tune it to its max you know do model optimization to its max do all of these things so when you master everything in this field you know all the hands on things you should be able to build a model much better than gpt and uh, even vision model that should be your goal and that is also my goal that's how i'm trying to learn these things so learn it this way <laughs>